Welcome! Simply, a DC to DC boost converter is a circuit that steps up the input voltage while it steps down the current. A boost converter is a handy device and can be used in a variety of applications, so I decided to design and build one. The circuit is based on the famous UC3843 controller chip and can handle up to 5 amps continuously. The input voltage could be somewhere between 9 to 16 volts and the output voltage can go as high as uh, 28 volts. The output voltage is variable and can be adjusted simply by, by turning a potentiometer. The board is compact and easy to build and use. To design the schematic and PCB, I use Altium Designer 21 and IPC rated Smaxis component libraries. To get high quality fabricated boards, I sent the Gerbers to PCB way. And to test the circuit, I used Siglent SDS2102X plus oscilloscope and Siglent SDM3045 X multimeter. Isn't cool? So let's get started. Alright, this is the schematic diagram of the device. The main components are this inductor, this MOSFET, this Schottky diode, and the controller. I have explained the schematic in full detail in the article, so I just go to the next step. For all of my projects, I never waste my time designing the component libraries from scratch. So I use the Smax component libraries and install the missing libraries directly in the schematic document. The tool is the Symaxis Altium plugin. The Symaxis lib libraries are free to use. Just open an account and have fun. The links and details have been provided in the article, so just visit the article link in the video description. This is the PCB layout of the device. It is a two layers PCB board. These tracks carry a high amount of current. So that's why they are just partially covered by the solder mask. You should use some solder to strengthen these tracks. And lastly, you should isolate the MOSFET and Schottky diode bodies from the heatsink using a thermal pad and plastic washers. Don't forget this, otherwise, you might damage the components. There are a few tests to examine the performance of the power supplies, line regulation, load regulation, and output noise. For the line regulation test, I set the output voltage to, for example, 20 volts and change the input voltage from 9 to 16 volts and vice versa to see how stable the output is. So, very good. For the load regulation, I should use a professional variable DC load, for example, one of these Siglent DC loads. However, for now, I make the experiment easier. I set the output voltage on something and attach a 2 amps load to see how stable the output voltage is. So, not bad at all. Now, let's test the output noise. The first test is to examine the output noise under no load. So I should use the Siglent STS2102X plus oscilloscope and select the power analysis feature. Then I should set the bandwidth to 20 MHz. Now I should configure the oscilloscope probe. I set the probe on times 10, remove the ground lead and put a ground spring on the head. Now I put the probe on the output of the circuit. So this is the noise figure under no load. Lastly, I test the noise under 2 amps load. 
The same as what I did earlier, I put the probe on the output of the circuit and this is the result. I don't think these long inductance spikes are coming from the supply, so I use VRMS as the noise indicator. As a tip, I want to introduce this component searchengine.com website. It's essentially an advanced search engine with tons of free features. So let me show you how it works by an example. Do you remember the controller of the circuit? I mean UC3843 chip. I just need to press the search button. And there we go. This is the search results. And fr from the search results, the third one is the one I like. And this is the chip. Here you can download the ECAD models and schematic symbols, PCB footprint and whatever data sheet and stock prices. Let me press the stock prices and here you can see the price of the components in a variety of distributors. Let me press the Mauser one. And there we go. The components uh, is already selected in the Mauser website and you can purchase the component in whatever quantity you like. All of the services of this website is free. Catch you next time.